Hi everyone, this is Emmy. I had a medicine cabinet in this powder room and I took it down and I put a mirror up but the mirror was not large enough so I decided that I would build a, a larger frame all around my mirror. Here's how it looked before and here's how it looked after I finished making this frame. So today I'm going to show you how you can do this yourself with this papier-mâché extended frame around any type of mirror. So let's get started. So I applied glue all around the outside of the frame and also on the inside. And I cut out some leaves until I thought that this would be fine. So after I cut out the first one, I decided that I don't necessarily need those jagged lines. And I glued them all around the outside of the frame. Then I made a pattern for the inside frame. And then I glued those all around the frame. And I used my hot glue gun this time just to speed things up. Right through this cardboard, I passed a piece of wire and that goes right to the back. Now I have it elevated on a couple of books so that I can work right to the edge and then when I'm done I'll turn it over and I'll do the back. And I have a can of latex paint and a paintbrush and a roll of paper towels. And this is a base coat so it can be any color. I'm going to apply a liberal amount of paint. I'm not going to worry if it goes on the mirror. I will scrape that off after. I'm going to take some paper towel and I'm just going to place it down over the paint like that. I just want to get it in there. Add more paint if it's going to overlap. And then I'm going to take more paint and I'm just going to pat that on. And I'm going to paint over the paper towel. And again, I want a fair amount of paint. And I'm going to pat around each of these leaves because I want them to be pronounced. Okay, so I'm just going to do the whole mirror like that. And I'm going to let that dry. Okay, now I've got the back done, and I really reinforced it. I've probably got about seven layers of paper with paint in between. When that dries and hardens, that's going to be a very durable hanger. Okay, so now I'm going to start dry brushing, and I have some off-white paint here. I'm going to start on the back so that I can practice. Okay, so I want this mirror to be mostly white, with just a little bit of a hint of this color on the background. So I'm putting quite a bit of paint on my brush, and I'm going to use a very light pressure until I'm sure how much I want to apply. So I'm going to just start going, and I really like that much, so I'm going to go ahead and do that all over the entire mirror. And here's a better look at that. So I'm going to go and do the whole mirror like that. Okay, I'm very pleased with that, so I'm going to let that dry. Okay, it's totally dried now. And now I'm just going to scrape off all of this paint. And that comes off very easily. Now that my mirror is dry, I'm going to use a silver metallic marker. I'm going to just put a few details on my leaves. It's okay, I've done that on all my leaves. Okay, so I brought it outside so that you can see better. And it actually has a little shine as well. 